Nine chilling facts that you should know about Antarctica. Blood Falls, one of the world's most extreme deserts, might be the last place one would expect to find a waterfall. But in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valley, a five-story fall pours slowly out of the Taylor Glacier into Lake Bonnie. And it's not just the idea of a waterfall in the frozen world of Antarctica that's strange. The waterfall is bright red, like blood running from a cut in the glacier. The reddish deposit was found in 1911 by the Australian geologist Griffith Taylor. The Antarctica pioneers first attributed the red color to red algae, but later it was proven to be due to iron oxide. The world's largest desert. Despite its thick ice, Antarctica is classified as a desert because so little moisture falls from the sky. The inner regions of the continent receive an average of two inches of precipitation, primarily in the form of snow each year. More rain falls in the Sahara Desert. There are active volcanoes there. At least two active volcanoes exist in Antarctica. Mount Erebus is the most active volcano in Antarctica and one of a few in the world with a permanent lake of molten lava in its crater. Crystals grow in the magma beneath the rebus and are ejected inside lava bombs. The only other place where these crystals can be found is Mount Kenya, Africa, although no new crystals are being produced there since it's no longer an active volcano. The other active volcano lies on Deception Island off of the Antarctic Peninsula. Although eruptions in 1967 and 69 damaged science stations there, the island remains a popular stop-off for tourists who can bathe in the water warmed by the volcano while surrounded by ice. Antarctica is governed by all nations. Antarctica is governed by a system known as the Antarctic Treaty System. The Antarctic Treaty was signed in Washington, D.C. on December 1, 1959 by the 12 countries whose scientists have been active in and around Antarctica during the International Geophysical Year of 57-58. It entered into force in 1961 and has since seceded by many other nations. Article 5 of the treaty states that no acts or activities taking place while the present treaty is in force shall constitute a basis for asserting, supporting, or denying a claim to territorial sovereignty in Antarctica or create any rights of sovereignty in Antarctica. AKA, back off Australia. Antarctica was once home of rainforests. The icy desert of Antarctica was once covered with lush vegetation where palm and baobab-like trees waved in the breeze. The warmest global climates of the past 65 million years occurred about 55 to 48 million years ago, when Antarctica's average temperature was 63 degrees. In 2012, on the eastern coast of the vast continent that covers the South Pole region, scientists drilled through four kilometers of ice and another one kilometer down below the ground. They found pollen and certain natural chemicals that could only have come from certain tree species. In March of 2015, Antarctica reached the highest recorded temperature of 63 degrees. With increasing temperatures and no rain, more truths about Antarctica are soon to come. Wind speeds reached 200 miles per hour. A wind speed of 200 miles per hour was recorded at a French base in July of 1972. Even though 200 miles per hour was a record breaker, the average wind speed is 70 miles per hour along with catabatic winds. Catabatic winds are a phenomenon of nature. They're formed by cold air mixing with ice caps that form sheet-like rivers of air and blowing snow. It seems like you're in a relentless storm, but it's odd because when you look up, the sky is most often sunny and blue. Night skies flash ribbons of colorful light. Referred to southern lights or an aurora, there's a natural electric phenomenon that creates bright and colorful light displays in the sky. They are common at higher latitudes, mostly within the Arctic and Antarctic circles. The glow encompasses most of the sky over Antarctica from March to September. There are no ants. Ants are successful, not only in terms of sheer numbers, but in their geographical coverage of Earth as well. There are only a handful of spots where native species of ants do not exist. Antarctica is one of the few. Ants are masters of overwintering or waiting out the winter season. When cold air arrives, ants' body temperatures drop dramatically and their movement becomes sluggish. Ants respond by seeking out warm places, such as deep soil, under rocks, or under the bark of trees. 
since Antarctica has layers of ice over a mile thick, there's no current refuge for ants. Who knows, if Antarctica's temperature continues to increase, there may be a colony of ants that are waiting deep in the soil for warmer days on land. There are no time zones. Antarctica sits on every line of longitude due to the South Pole being situated near the middle of the continent. Theoretically, Antarctica would be located in all time zones. However, areas south of the Antarctic Circle experience extreme day-night cycles near the times of the June and December solstices, making it difficult to determine which time zone would be appropriate. Hey, thanks again for watching, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. See you next time. You'll want to know. This time could be the norm. No, no.